Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some graphics like this for our Kalmyk style yearbook. We're not going to do any of the text that's inside of it. We're going to leave it blank, and we don't really need these little halftone pattern things either. It's mostly just the shapes that we can put our own text inside of those. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to make like this shape here and then some of these other like starburst looking ones. So I'm going to add another artboard to this so that I can use that other one as a reference. So the first one I'll show you how to do are these kind of like starburst types of shapes. If you get the pen tool, this is very easy. It's just like connect the dots. Just make sure that you don't drag any of the points to make it um, curved. You want to keep your hand steady and just make straight lines, all right? You can make some of them bigger and some of them smaller. It looks more interesting that way. And just go around. And then when you get to the very last one, make sure you see that little circle. See how it goes from a plus to a circle? Make sure that you hit that so that it's closed. All right, so now we can just fill this with a color. And obviously you want to give it a stroke in black. Make sure you outline everything in black. I can go over here to my stroke panel, which by the way, it's under window. If yours isn't open, you can click stroke there. And I want to give it, um, first of all, I need to make it black. And that's probably a good size. It's somewhere around eight points if you're having like a letter size document. Eight points is fine. And then I always like to put the cap and corner rounded. I think that that works better because sometimes it gives you these really weird spikes if you don't do that. So put the cap and corner on the middle two things. Make it about an eight point size outline. All right, so you can see how easy that one is. I wanna show you how to do it so that maybe you have some of these other little action lines coming out of it. So if you get your pen tool, you can just draw like little triangles here. And we wanna make those um, no stroke on that, but make the fill black. All right, so you can make a few of those coming out from there so it looks like there's some action happening. Maybe just one more. You can start off by just building a page of them, but then when you're ready to export them, copy them into a new document, each one, so that I have them all separately. All right, now I'll show you how to make one that's kind of more of the puffy kind, if that's easy. You just get your ellipse tool and just draw a bunch of ellipses and just make them touching each other. All right, so once you have one of those shapes like that, you can select all of them. There's two ways you can group them. You can either use the Shape Builder tool and click on all of them, all the pieces of the shapes, and it will combine them into one. Forgot that piece there. So you can do it that way, or I can put them back the way it was. You can select them all and go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. That's another way you can do it. All right, so then we're gonna, once again, we're gonna fill that with um, a color. I'm just actually gonna click on my magic, or my eyedropper tool and make it the same. That way it'll already have the same stroke. And then I can just fill it with another color for that. And then if you want to have some little outlines like this going around the outside of it, what you can do is copy and paste an extra copy of it and make it a little bit bigger and then copy and paste this and just offset it a little bit. And then you can go to the shape builder tool and hold down the um, alt key and delete all the other pieces, some other pieces of it, so that you just have part of the shape. Okay, and let me get rid of that one little dot that's right there. And then just fill that with black. So we can separate these little pieces here. I'm gonna delete the smaller ones that um, ended up coming in. Delete those, and then let's just fill this with black. So I'm gonna fill it with black, and I want the stroke none. And then you can move them just like to the outside of your of the shape that they were kind of matching. All right, so you can do that again if you want some on the bottom. 
but I would recommend adding these little extra things to it. It makes it look a lot better. If you want to have like this pointed line, like it looks like someone is actually saying that, you can just get your pen tool and draw a pointy line like that and close the shape. Then once again, if you go over here to your and select both of them and you get the Shape Builder tool or Pathfinder, either one, and go on all of it, you can make it into one thing and then get the eyedropper tool and make it the same paint um, style as that one. Let me show you how you can make stars too if you wanted to add something like I'll add stars to this one. If you go over to the shape tool there, we do there is a star tool, so you can pull that one open. If you just click on your page, you can specify how many points you want it to have or what the radius is. I'll just go with your traditional star for now and show you how that's done. We'll fill it with black. And then you could either rotate it if you wanted to, change the size of it if you wanted to have stars and stuff on there. But another thing that you can do with the star tool that's interesting is, let me click on here and make a totally different one. If you want to have a lot of points, so you can make like these starburst shapes with a lot of points on them. So the radius one is just the inside radius, radius two is the outside. So if you wanted the spikes to go really far away, you can make that number bigger. So that's how you can make these kind of shapes too. And you can also, if you don't hold the shift key while you're resizing it, you can make it, you know, stretched out or anything like that. So that's another thing that you can do with these comic shapes. If you wanna make some shapes like that, experiment with the star tool. Just click anywhere on your desktop and just try changing these numbers around and seeing what kind of effects that you can get. So if you make these numbers closer together, you can see that the spikes just don't go out quite as far. All right, so try some of those shapes. And then I also wanted to show you how to um, use the brush tool. If you want to freehand some of these shapes and not just use shapes that are pre-built, if you go over here to our brush tool, the paintbrush, if you right click on that, it will give you the options. So it has like an auto smoothing thing. If your lines are a little bit shaky and you want them to be smoothed out, you can do this. I would suggest clicking on fill new brush strokes. That way it won't just be an outline. It'll actually fill in whatever shape you're making. All right, so just right click on brush, bump up the smoothing a little bit and make sure that you have fill new brush, stroke, brush strokes checked, okay? and then say all right. And then what you can do is, if you go over here, while you have the brush tool selected, it gives you the options for it up there. So you can pick the color of it. So let's say I wanna have a blue shape and I wanna have a black stroke. You can specify that up there. And the three point round, you can try making it a thicker brush. I'm not sure if that changes things though, if you have the stroke already there. I'm going to go ahead and just leave stroke on one and this on 10 and see what happens. All right, so then you could draw your own shapes. So if you didn't want to blend the circles together and you want to make your own shape, you can do that. Just make sure when you get to the end that you close, close that path. And see how it smoothed it out for me? I didn't need to, even if I have like shaky hands and I'm going like this, it will automatically smooth that out for you. So that's another way that you could make these. And let's see what else can I show you. If you wanted to make some accent lines, you know, inside of your cloud bubble, you can just draw some extra lines in there. Maybe you want some of them to be on the outside. If you do that and it's filled in, what you need to do is click on it and then just make the uh, fill to be nothing. So it's just the stroke. And then you can add some more of those on the outside. All right, so using the brush tool is another way you can make these things. It doesn't all have to be the shapes that are already in here. You're welcome to try making your own shapes as well. All right, so the last shape that I wanna show you how to make is like the one here for the word that says blob there. It's similar to how you made this shape here, but obviously this one has some curved edges. So you'll get the pen tool for this one. You'll uh, click on a point and just click and not drag on that one. So just click a point right here, then go out a little bit and click. But before you let go of your mouse, drag out a handle 
and make a curve. And then you need to click on that same point again to delete that other handle. So then you go out a little bit more, click and drag a handle, and then go back and click on that again. So go out a little bit more and just keep repeating the process. Just don't forget to click on the, the point again because if you don't, I'll show you what happens. If you don't and then you try to go over here and click a point, it gives you that. So you don't want to do that. You want to always click back on the original point that you made. And just keep going around until you can close it. And if it looks a little bit weird somewhere, you can always go back and get your direct selection tool and move things around. That's the cool thing about the pen tool is you can, you can change it up. If you want to change the um, how much these are bending in, you can just click on each point and uh, change how, how, how much it's, it's bending in. So you can go around and clean it up a little bit. Like this one has a really short handle. I'm going to pull that one out and make it a little bit bigger. All right, and then once again, you're just going to fill it. I'm going to get my eyedropper tool so that it has the same stroke and fill as that one. If you want to change the color, you can always click on that and make a new color. All right, so I think I've shown you how to make all these different types of shapes. I want to show you what to do with them when you're done because you can do them all on one page like this, but I don't want you to submit it with the yearbook form that way. I need them all separate. So you can turn them in your portfolio that way, but when you're ready to submit them with the form, you're just going to have to click on one object at a time and copy it. And then you can just go to um, New. I think you could just make this web most common document is fine to make it that size and paste it in there like that. And then you'll go File, Export, Export As. You're going to make it a PNG. So choose PNG down there and do export. Make sure that you're on high resolution and that you have a transparent background. All right, so do that with each one of your graphics so that I can have them separately.